Hello everybody. Today I wanted to do a redstone tutorial video. And this is going to be my very first redstone tutorial video. But before we get started, let's address a few things. Number one, the new skin. It's like an Enderman suit guy. I really enjoy this skin. So yeah, we're going to use this as the new skin. Next thing to address is this shader that I'm using, it's the BSL shader, just got it a few days ago, and I think it's really fun. Alright, now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, first things first, you put the piston down. I like to actually build uh, this in the ground. So you've got an observer that goes this way, one that goes this way. Put the two repeaters in three ticks each take out these two blocks put some observers make sure you hold shift and click on the very edge of the repeater there you go next we're gonna put redstone torch here it's gonna have a sticky piston on top there'll be an observer facing that way and then you'll also have an observer facing like that. Put, an put a dispenser on top with the lava bucket inside. Next, we're gonna put a repeater up here with two ticks. And that's gonna go into a sticky piston. And then we're gonna put an observer on it facing down. On the observer block, we're going to put three blocks and they'll split the signal with two repeaters going out, one tick on each. Next, put a block and a sticky piston like that. Excuse me, did that backwards. There we go. So that's the first part of the setup. Now, what I like to do. To keep things kind of safe is I'll actually put glass blocks on top of those to, to protect the repeaters and uh, make a little viewing chamber for the lava. Okay. Now let's set up the modules first we'll put the ground circuit tree so we've got a rail like that an observer so we're gonna bring off more rails three off in each direction so seven total one in the middle three going off in each direction same thing with this it's gonna be the same distance Oh, one too many. Another thing I like to do is put in these uh, two by one channels because this is going to be directly underneath where the, the dirt blocks with the water are going to be. Let's just do this again on the other side. Now we can begin working on the actual modules. So the way that those are constructed, you put an observer down, block on top, two sticky pistons on either side facing up, and then in front of that you put two sticky pistons. Then I like to just put the observers like that. Eventually they'll be moved to a permanent up position from there, you put the two blocks, they can be whatever block. In the build that I built on my new world, I use stone blocks, not iron blocks. I'm not that rich on my own realm. Then I'll put the note blocks on top, like that, and some buttons on top of those. The actually, these ones don't need buttons. The outside ones will not need buttons. 
but the inside ones should have buttons. The reason that the um, outside ones don't need buttons is because there'll be glass going along the top. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So let me complete all the modules and then I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And again, the outside modules will not need buttons, only the inside ones, because they're the ones that will be exposed, and it needs to be buttons. Otherwise, it would interact with the slime blocks. These are going to have glass on top. Um, so the next thing we'll do is put in the dirt and the water. So along the inside modules, on the sticky pistons, put two blocks of dirt. Just like that. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, and now we're going to put in stairs. and blocks for these inside ones. All right, now we can saturate the stair blocks along this middle row. It's hard to see the water with these shaders, but I am putting in water. And from there, we can actually put in the sugar cane. Let's do that over here. Okay. Next what we'll do is actually put in the slime block. Okay. So five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Just enough to cover the um, the sugar cane just like that and since this is the front I'm gonna put a chest I'm gonna put a chest right here just like that now we need observers or excuse me not observers we need hoppers to feed into those chests i'm going to actually run a line of hoppers Just like this. Okay. So all the sugar cane from this farm is getting funneled into this chest here. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to build in a sort of I'm going to build in a sort of uh, maintenance ladder. So if you ever need to run up here and replant some sugar cane, you can run along these hoppers, replant the sugar cane. The only thing left to do is to build the glass wall along the back here. And that's it. There we go. The sugar cane farm is completed, ready to go. Let's say we turn it on and see how it performs. It 
So this is going to be your rate. It's going pretty fast in my opinion. So next what I want to show you is actually how to build a shulker box loader that comes right off of this chest. All right. So let me clear out my inventory and get started on that. So starting here, let's put down a chest right underneath these stairs, just like that, and put two hoppers into that. And actually, let's put another hopper chain like that. So you got the soul sand. And the actual shulker box is going to end up right there where I just put that hopper. So let's feed a hopper into that spot. And look at that. It's already picking up stuff. So let's put the dispenser here because that's what's going to dispense the shulker boxes. I'm going to put a comparator here and also going to need a redstone block. We're going to put that right here so that gives the comparator a signal of full strength. So until the shulker box is fully uh, stocked up with sugarcane, it won't break and power this um, it won't power this comparator. So I'm going to put a sticky piston like that with an observer facing away. Okay, so next we're going to put an iron block behind that. And we're going to put one tick on a repeater up here. And that's going to power another sticky piston facing down. And we're going to put a slab on that sticky piston. Make sure it has one tick. Then you're going to have an observer observe that, um, that sticky piston and then another observer observer observing that observer and that's basically it the only thing now is to put in some glass blocks so that um, any any random uh, shulker boxes that pop off don't pop off in a weird spot and I'm actually gonna have to replace this stair here with another piece of glass and that's basically it that's how you do it and to just test it let's uh, clear my inventory let's let's give me like 36 shulker boxes or something we'll just do 40 Let's load them in here. Actually, hold on. What we can do is put a hopper there with a chest. You can even make it a, a double chest. You can have it go whatever direction you want. And just put the shulker boxes in there. And one last thing, let me grab a button. We'll just put a button underneath. So if you ever run out of shulker boxes and you just finished restocking it, you can just press that button. The dispenser will dispense your shulker box. It'll start filling it up. And let's just put some sugar cane in here so you can see what it looks like
when it fills up. And then your shulker box with the sugar cane is right there and it continues to fill the next one. All right, there you go. We have a zero tick sugar cane farm and a shulker box loader attached to it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot today and you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and like the video. If not, that's your choice. You could also subscribe, but I don't foresee that taking place since my video quality is not very good. But hopefully you guys had a lot of fun and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.